There are many places on our planet so remote or little mentioned that much of the world has never heard of said sites. And the Great Salbic Kurgan is one such example of an incredible ruin that has been largely forgotten or overlooked by modern academic study. Clearly of a Neolithic age, the thing which is most striking regarding the ruin is the sheer size of the megalithic blocks which make up the main structure. Claimed by many as the most majestic and mysterious ancient monument of southern Siberia, the mound is located in what is locally known as the so-called Siberian Valley of the Kings, where several thousand years ago, it is claimed that there existed a kingdom, one made up of a people once known as the Tagars. Thus, the age monument has been pinned on said culprits, with an age of around 2,300 to 2,500 years attributed to the site. The main earthwork is a stone square mound, 70 meters by 70 meters in size, as mentioned, huge slabs of Devonian sandstone. Some estimated as weighing as much as 50 to 70 tons were somehow once inexplicably delivered to the site from a quarry site of over 100 kilometers away found upon the banks of the Yenisei River. It is believed that it was an ancient temple and at a later date an ancient astronomical observatory which like most other Neolithic sites incorporates processional cycles in its alignment, showing the movement of the sun and the moon. As mentioned, it still remains a complete mystery as to what devices were once utilized for the importation and installation of these gigantic stones. At the corners and sides of the stone fences are deeply driven large meniers. All 23 stones are of an enormous sight. Measuring up to a height of 6 meters, they're clearly smoking guns flying in the face of upheld academic fallacies. The rare excavations and explorations noted as having been undertaken at the site note that before the construction of the giant earth embankment and its accompanying stone fence, there was a crypt of logs in its place, once in the form of a truncated pyramid. This whole crypt can be found inside the huge earthwork, preserved beneath, untouched yet covered with a thick layer of bark. The crypt had the height of 2.5 meters in depth of 2 meters of water covered the pit. It is claimed that around the burial zone, for a long time a strong anomaly has continually been observed. The study of these phenomena has indeed been engaged by scholars, but the pace of said explorations has been suspiciously slow-paced. Who built the Great Salbic Kurgan? How were these huge stones transported to the site and once driven into the earth at the site? What is this quote, strong anomaly? More investigation and popularization of the site is desperately needed. It is a place which we find highly compelling. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, take care.